Hello and welcome to yet again another video. I am so happy that you're here today. My name is Valentina and I welcome you to my channel, Life As Is. I call it Life As Is because I believe that life should be enjoyed exactly how it is, how God has given it to you. We should always be grateful for today's moments and today's joys and today's not so much joys, right? So today I'm taking you, you guys, to my hometown. I'm taking you guys to Encaranza. I'm taking you to where you really get to experience what real rural local lifestyle is like outside of Accra. I want you to take a look and really experience Ghana for what it truly is outside of the hustle and bustle of the streets of Accra and just get a glimpse of what it's like to live hours and hours away from the main city, the capital. So today I hope that you enjoy in Karanza, I hope you learn a thing of two, at least of what it looks like and what it's like to really be in, in the midst of the locals. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and to share it. And I think if you share this video, especially with people who maybe have left Ghana and haven't returned for a long time, and maybe they are even from Enkranza, I think they'll enjoy taking a look at this video because they might bring back some memories and they would just warm their heart with all these beautiful views and just a glimpse of this local uh, pictures and videos that I'm bringing to you. All right, let's get on on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. First, let's start off by taking a nice ride and enjoying the beautiful, gorgeous view of Encaranza, its flora, its fauna, and just enjoying the wonderful nature around us. Then we're gonna stop by and visit grandma. So you get a glimpse of my grandma and a little bit, a little taste of what it's like to live in the village in Encaranza. Enjoy. Let me tell you a little bit about Encaranza. Encaranza is a town that's located in the mid north of Ghana. It is the district capital of the Encaranza district in the Bono East region. Encaranza is known for its vibrant cultural heritage and colorful traditions, making it an interesting place to explore. This town played a significant role in the 1892 to 93 Prong Rebellion against the Ashanti. And Karanza is part of the newly created Bono East region, which was previously part of the Brongahafo region. So, and Karanza is really a good place to stop if you're trying to go all the way up to Tamale. And right before in Karanza, you find Kumasi and other towns. But mainly, if you want to get a nice stop, come here. You'll enjoy it. Let's take a moment to just appreciate Ghana for what it is right now. The fauna, the flora, just the local rural lifestyle. I don't know if in the next 10, 15 years, we'll be able to witness Ghana the way that it is now because there is so much modernization, so much industrialization that in some way is good, but in some other ways, I think about the locals and what Ghana truly is and what the people truly are. Will this be lost one day? I hope it will not. Because modernization does not mean getting rid of culture.
Okay. So, so what's this place called? Prosso. Prosso. Yeah. Okay. And so the community lives here? Yeah. Okay. Kofi, show me where is your bathroom? <laughs> wow, yum. Look at this. Better too. Ah. Wow. Ah, see, see. And you have a man who by Russia. I have a man who is 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 a good. who is a man who is a man who is a man who is a man uh -huh. I go. I go. Hey, hey, you are I He's scared. <laughs> you want to climb it yourself? Where? How can you climb it yourself? Without help. Huh? Try and climb it a little. <laughs> then I'll clap for you. Uh, uh, sorry, I'll be one swing. I'll be one swing. I'll be one swing. I'll be one the <laughs> I didn't tell any on stick. No stick, we are no stick, man. Coffee, coffee, quack. And your Guys. 
coming to Ghana is like a dive into a different planet. Just look at how the kids are free. They're just playing around with animals. They just feel at home. You know something? Getting out of Accra is like a breath of fresh air. And that's exactly how my kids felt while getting into this beautiful town, gorgeous town. People live normally, freely with the animals, with the plants, with nature. And you can see the joy inside of them. Even with the little that they have, they make the most out of it. Even us, we think they have little. But guess what? They have even more than we have abroad. <laughs> One thing that shocks me about Ghana and about just Ghanaian in general is just how they're not seeing how blessed they are with the nature that it's available to them, the space that it's available to them, the plants, the flora, the fauna, just everything that is available to them they just don't see it in the states to have such big space in your house do you know how much it will cost it will cost so much money but in ghana in these small villages people have the luxury of this nature space fresh air fresh fresh everything even the trees that they can have in their backyard, the plants they have, everything, most of it at least, is edible. Man, what a blessing. What a blessing. Coming to Ghana has been a sense of therapy for myself and for my kids. It has felt like just being able to, to have that peace of connecting with where I'm from, understanding where I'm from, and not having that sense of loss in my life. Like I always say, if you don't know where you're from, you might not know where you're going. I urge every single one of you who is abroad, who was born abroad, who has had children abroad, to let your children be very connected with where they are from. And if you are a child, just like I once was, who was born and raised abroad, make it a point to visit your hometown. I tell you, it will change your life. It will open your eyes and it will really help you understand where you are going. <laughs> Bread and a uh, butter bread. Butter bread. Eh, sweet and I said. Oh, it's good. Hey, I can you see this one. Hey, Ajib. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, but you're not sure. Last year, After taking a look at the town, entering into my grandmom's home, visiting family members, I decided to take a walk around town and just have a glimpse of my hometown. Mind you, I only was here when I was about three years old. So obviously there is no memories, right? So I just was so excited to just even take a walk, to just take a look around and just enjoy the peace and quietness that these people I enjoy know while in Ghana. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Auntie, when do they come for the market? Is it Wednesday? No, no you, the main market over here is Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. The main market here. But this one is a stop for the district oh. people. Okay. Uh -huh, but for everybody to come here, they don't want to come. Oh, okay. That's why it have not developed. Okay. Mm. Oh, I see. Because everybody wants to sell at her own house. Okay. They don't want to go to, they don't, they don't want to come here. Oh, they want to sell exactly yeah, they, from yes, their house, like the lady we saw. Yes. Okay. That's why they are Because it's easier for them. Yes. Yeah. I see. Wow, my bank runs out. Uh, yes. <laughs> First time. Uh, well, this is your second time. Oh, I guess it's my second time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> that time I was a teacher. Oh. Yeah. 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 I remember them. <laughs> I remember them very well. Wow. Fragia. Okay, the pink one, right? Oh, okay. Yes, let's go. I for that girl, that girl. Oh yeah, I see. It's okay. We are now constructing the road. Oh, okay. Wow. And here they are making yes. Indomie. Yeah, Indomie. Okay. And they sell food, for food and those things. Hey, is this the bullfrog I've been looking yeah. for or not? Is the the, the the hard one on the outside? Yeah. Is there a hard one yeah. on the... Hey, I need to go and get my CDs. I'll come back. <laughs> oh, wow. That's nice. So your wife just comes and sells yeah, the stuff like here. here. Uh, that's primary. That's nice. Grace Sapon Prestige School. Oh, nice. So in Ghana, do they still use the cane on the kids? No, no. Oh, good. <laughs> no, they have stopped. They have stopped yeah, there. They, they were teaching us. Yes. They used to teach us. They used to teach us. They used to Oh, that's where the kids will eat. Yes. No, they ask for the kids. They eat around here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. The mature people. That's for the mature, the mature people. people. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> good. He said, do you want to make any inquiries? Inquiries? Um, oh, no, I'm just looking around, uh, yes. Oh, that's nice. Hey, NKZ, Mapa. <laughs> uh, you know NKZ. NKZ. Have heard the name? I've heard the name. Guru. From, yeah, Guru. I think it's the yeah, one who Guru. said yeah. it, yes. It's from here. Yeah. His father owned a uh, hotel here. Ah. NG Hotel. Okay. That's nice. Or at least there are people who are selling things, so if yes. you need something, you can get it. Yeah. So this is Bronga Hafo. Bronga Hafo. Okay. This, this place we call it. Now we, we have we have divided it into two. Okay. We have Bruno. Okay. Bruno Hafo. Okay. And this place is a Blue East. A Buno East. East. Our okay. capital is Techiman. Okay. Capital is Techiman. Yes. Before in Kwanzaa we were fighting for the capital. Okay. But the government changed its mind. Changed its mind. Ah, okay. I see. And this is a church? Yes, it's a church. Do you guys go to this church? No, no. no. Two battles. People used to go there, but yeah, I don't attend this. You don't? Yeah. No, yeah. No. Oh, I need to come back and buy okay. the book. Yes. yes. <laughs> I've been looking for this kind, not the oily one. Yeah, but this one is oil. This one is oily and too. Why, why they have yes, but they have one that is is different, like it's soft. But this yes. one is hard on the outside yes, and soft on the soft inside. inside. That's the one I want. Yeah.
Oh, and here they sell meat, right? <laughs> All this, huh? Oh, that's good. In the freezer. It belongs to grandma. Hey, she's such a businesswoman. Kokoro. Yeah. You got a coconut. Wow. I mean, Coco. Wow. We can make chocolate. Wow. That's so nice. Let's go and see. We are going to vlog orange. Wow! Look at this, so many! Wow! Hey, this house is blessed! Wow! Wow! Hey, that's orange, right? That's a big orange tree! And we have three trees. And we have the different type of mango tree. Hey! <laughs> hey, I want some orange juice. Yes. I was super excited when I saw that there are like all these trees in my grandma's home. I'm like, hey, I wish you, oh, and they're all mature, bearing great fruits. Ah, I had to come home with a basket full of oranges, cocoa, mangoes. Ah, what a treat. Thank you all Hello. so much for watching and for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed Encaranza with me today. Till next time. Ciao, ciao.